Bust it. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Remix. Uh-huh. Remix. Uh-huh. Wacko. Juvenile. Skip. Skip. <laughs> Holla back. Oh, I'm Talk sorry. Y'all know that. Yo, <laughs> y'all listen. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. Thank you for joining us for another episode of USATF Journey to Gold Zone podcast. I'm your host, Eric Kennard, joined by the Wallace Spearman Jr. And as you can see, the Noya is in the building. So you might as well clap a little bit. A yeah, little hi, me. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Same old. You look. Hold on. Man, this dude. <laughs> Twinkle, See twinkle, baby, she's a star. <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, baby, twinkle, twinkle. Oh, Back up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah. Drip too hard, don't it's stand too close. On. Mess around and drown off, off the waves. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, slight. I so see slight. Reggie found the diamonds. Hey, so <laughs> <laughs> right, I see you look good. All right, I'm going to stop. Now. Let's be serious. <laughs> How are you? How are you? you uh, I, I want to jump straight into it, Leah, because for me, uh, you are a warrior. Right. All mm-hmm. right. I've been watching your career for a while. Two knee surgeries. Mm-hmm. One, what, wrist, hand surgery? Yep. Hey. Yeah. They can't stop Left knee, right knee, left COVID hand. COVID one time. COVID two times. Dang. COVID and flu, then COVID by itself. That's just, that's not even. World possible. Relay medalist, Olympic Games medalist, World Championship medalist. Um, what do you have left? Obviously, you've, you've been a great asset to the sport and Team USA um, in the sprints. Um, we, we've seen great participation from you as it relates to being in the relay program. Uh, I know for you, the goal is to make that medal stand individual. Mm-hmm, individual, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So talk to us a little bit about 2024, uh, because you just put something hot out there early now in the bayou now, you know. So talk to us a little bit about that. You've been kind of laying low since indoors. Yeah, um, like me and my coach, we want to try something different. Like I always open up. I think every open up was fast. Yeah. So I always open up fast, so it's like, we know I don't have to really race myself into shape. So it's like, let's open up, let's race, and then let's chill, let's train. Yeah. When it's time to run again, let's run again, let's go back and train. So that's what we're trying this year. So I haven't raced since Atlanta. I did a lot of good training, what, two, three weeks? Mm-hmm. So we're back again, opening up. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. hey, that's Coach, our plan, though. We're yeah, trying, exactly. to, trying to get something done at trials. Well, Coach Shavers is obviously no stranger to success in the sport of track and field. Right. And, and you've been able to mature and learn your own process, mm-hmm. which has changed clearly, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Um, we want a healthy Aaliyah on the track. I think you want a healthy Aaliyah on the track. So hey. is, is the plan for that, this new implementation of this system and the approach to the season, that's the plan? Yeah, that's, that's definitely the plan. Because always, that was always the downfall. I got hurt. Yeah. Like every time I run my fastest and it's time to go, I'm hurt, yeah. so it's like if I'm healthy, we can run fast and get something done. Yeah, no, I agree. So you're a sleepy giant in this sport. That's what I see. Mm-hmm. So you know you come out indoors, and some people might think you're an indoor specialist. Your name is always at the top of the list of top performers. Outdoors, like you said, you come out and you're a giant. There's not one person that you can't run with. But you've seen a lot of competition. Mm-hmm. You've seen a lot of change in the top runners. I say, can you talk about that? Like, just your longevity. You almost, I mean, you, hey, you ain't a nah, baby no more, almost, right? Because yeah, I remember, almost. You well, no, I think about yeah. every day. I say, Shh, yeah. I'm up there. But I mean, like I said, I've been in the game for a little minute, and I just still feel like I haven't accomplished, why I haven't accomplished my goals, you know, get the individual medals and stuff like that. So, I mean, I'm just learning from everything, learning from the past. Like I say, me and my coach, we sit down, we talk about it. We like, it's time to get something done. So, I mean... We're gonna get it done. I mean, the competition is always there. So it's like, like I say, like he always say, focus on your lane. It's the same for everybody. Run your race, so. And I'm about to say, so you comment on that. And then also I'll say that, I mean, I remember watching you come into the sport mm-hmm. and you were the young gun asking questions. Mm-hmm. And now you get to the point where people are starting to ask you questions, huh? Mm-hmm. So what's that like? You know, is that putting extra pressure on you? Is that, you know, actually, is it, relieving for people to be you know idolizing you and asking you how to do things what's that like mentally for you um it's no pressure at all i like it like i said it make me feel like i didn't did something i did something right if people won't actually ask me the questions so i mean love to uh teach to you anybody need to learn anything i'm here to help them uh, like i said i'm i'm getting up there <laughs> just hey uh, about the 28, 28, 28. what you're young you're now young. i go lie after COVID. I like feel that. like everything went fast <laughs> forward. I'm not even going to lie to you. That's but, crazy. But, nah. hey, I mean, I like when everybody asks the questions. People looking at me as like the vet. So, yeah. like are, I said, I need to get something done, though. I understand that. 
I'm gonna ask this just because it was my event. When am I gonna see you drop a time in this 200 though? I ain't gonna lie, this year. I they ran a couple two fifty that practice. Okay, okay. I, I'm hey, interested. That's new. Um, that's new. So, would you run, or you you comfortable sharing that, or is that that's that's no? Because y'all might say it's slow, but it's fast. What you mean? Who am I? Forget me. I just want to hear it. Would you come to the two hundred? How about that? I don't remember, but the two fifty was like thirty. That's good. That's good. Yeah, that's wrong. solid. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's solid. Right, man. That, you know, that's we get so You know, I've been hitting my little two fifties been faster. My one fifties been faster. So I don't know about two hundred though. But okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. She don't know about nah, though. Honestly, after mileage, my knee yeah. surgery, we try to stay off the turn. So. Oh, that's smart. Mm-hmm. That's smart. That's smart. So and I wasn't complaining. <laughs> 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 you taking advantage of the situation. That was a vet move. That's a vet <laughs> move. Yes, indeed. Uh, you talked about a little bit about giving out advice and, and pouring into young athletes. You also have uh, to pour into a youngster. Mm-hmm. Your mama lived too now. Yep. And you got a little son out there. So how do you balance motherhood and in international travel and competition mm-hmm. and training? Um, that part, it gets tough, but after a while, you kind of learn how to manage it. Like uh, right now, well, I only came yesterday, and I'll be leaving tomorrow, so I'm not going too long. But when it comes time to go to Europe and stuff all the yeah. time, then the time change, and just like I know I could be the kind of be on the phone with them as much, yeah. but I just know I'm out here doing it for them. So yeah. it's like, you know, it's a little, it's a lot more motivation, honestly. Yeah. Wow, that's dope. How's little man doing? He doing good. That's good. That's yeah. Good. So outside of you know international competitions, outside of you know, Olympic Games, like what, what does success look like for you? Like what, what would be, at the end of your career, if you walked away, what are some things, because you talked about your goals, what are some things you want to accomplish before leaving the sport outside of just medals? Is there anything? Outside of medals, I just want, like I said, I want to set a mark. Like I want to, I want people to look at me and be like, dang, no matter what, she always giving it her all. Like she got that grit. Like I done been through a lot and it's like, I'm always just stand up and come out of it. So I just want people to look at me and be like, Damn, like that's a warrior. Oh, dang. I can see. Oh, you good. You can see. Oh, that. look. Damn, that's All a right. warrior. <laughs> you good. You good. But y'all just want to look at me and be like, you know, like, she really liked that. Like, yeah. So. Yeah, I'm about to say, and I wish, I don't think you need any, any uh, guidance. I don't think you need me to wish you luck. I think you're just going to handle it on your own. And I'm about Thanks. to say, that's what we see every day. <laughs> so it's just, you know, hopefully the world actually gets a chance to see that as well. Exactly. All right, I'm going to ask you this because I feel like you. All right. When I look at LSU or I think about LSU, mm-hmm. most people might go to men. I feel like LSU has probably the strongest history of female sprinters out of almost any school collegiately. You want to talk about that? Definitely. Like I said, Coach Shaver, man. Coach Shaver knows. Coach Shaver's the man. Like, he the man. Coach Shaver, you the man. Maybe he's going to take a 250 off of saying that. <laughs> you know he be but on social media, I know. He's looking. He's like, what's she talking about? <laughs> but nah, man. Coach Shaver, he, he know what he's talking about. Then it's like LSU. It's just like one big family. So it's like that just that just make a difference, too. Because it's like you see people doing something. You're like, oh, I want to do that. Or like just talking to each other. It's just like sisterhood. And Coach Shaver, that's our daddy. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, we just kind of want to just keep the legacy going, though. Like so I say, it's a big family. What school do you think would be second in line behind LSU? Who would give you all the biggest competition? LSU. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> LSU. And there's the warrior. LSU, there's LSU, the warrior LSU. you're looking for. There it is right there. There it is right there. I'm going to ask you one. Well, this is well. I know Eric has some stuff for you as well. If you had to put a four by one together just from LSU women, who would you who would you include? And who's running what leg? Okay. Makaya Briscoe out the blocks. Okay. Best first leg ever. Y'all just ain't see it yet, but that's the best first leg in the world. Makaya out the blocks. I'm going second. No. We got to put Kim Duncan on there, though. Yeah, Ooh, you got some choices. We got to put yeah, Kim yeah, on there. Yeah, so we're going to put that. Ooh. You forgetting somebody already, but I'm going to let you keep going. I ain't gonna lie, so many people. We need about five relays. Right, I ain't need to Talk go. to me. That's why I, I ain't need to lie. That's why I want to hear your answer. All right, we're gonna do one like Kim this, Duncan. huh? I forgot about Kim. Are right, we gonna do one like this? We're gonna do Makaya to me. Kim can do third, she can run a turn, and she carry last. That's one. We can do Makaya to Kim. Shit, I run third, I do third. She carry last. We could throw on 
Man, we could put Don. Oh, it's too many people. I ain't even gonna lie. What about Mona Lee? We could do. Mo- we could put a second. We could put Don last. I'm a Kaya still coming out the blocks. So I don't care. Third. Anybody do third. They gonna win. We could pick a shave a third. <laughs> 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 it just gonna be over with. It but no it's too many there. people. I'm not even gonna lie. I can't even think of everybody. And as much as I love the so rep Arkansas, it, I, I mean, we have Veronica Campbell and a few others, but it's. LSU. Hey, sprint you, man. It, you, it's, you. it's unmatched. It's un. You like to say Oregon, maybe or Texas, but like they're just not. They're not messing with y'all. Yeah, I don't they think. ain't got. They ain't got. Not like us. So what's that like though? I mean, whenever you go, I remember going to Arkansas and looking at the records. Like, oh yeah, whenever I leave here, I'm gonna be number one for sure. Mm-hmm. Going to LSU, that might not be. If you're in high if school, you, getting in that record book is hard. You getting that record book, that top ten is like, dang, like. Where are you on the on the list? Um, in a hundred, mm-hmm. um, three. Who's ahead of you? Dawn Shakari. In a sixty, I want in a sixty. Mm-hmm. The two hundred, I'm um, one. For real? Nah, you know I ain't even <laughs> know that in the two hundred. <laughs> Big dummy got done, got me. <laughs> I ain't even know it in the two hundred. But I mean, yeah. nah. Anytime you crack that top ten, you like, dang, like I done did so. Yeah. And, and y'all's four by one about say collegiate. Oh yeah, y'all, oh yeah, y'all that are, too. Okay, it's, it's so much I can't remember. I got mom brain too. I ain't gonna lie, I be forgetting. It's hard yeah, to I remember forgetting. all that. <laughs> yeah, so, so twenty eight years old, Aaliyah, from New Orleans. Mm-hmm. So went to LSU. Um, is there a greater sense of community support for you, being that you in the Olympic movement, Olympic space? You stayed mm-hmm. home and went to college. Mm-hmm. You train at home. You trying to, you know, you running for Team USA, but you really running for really ripping the home, really ripping the home team. So now in four years, we'll have the Olympics in the United States. Now you sitting up here acting like you old, but do you feel like you'll still be training uh, to go to LA to get ready to uh, rep the home team in in your home country? Yeah, definitely. I mean, that's a plan because, like I said, it's home. So it's like, who don't want to do that, you know? Yeah. So I mean, that's definitely the goal. We're gonna we're gonna see what God say. God's plan. Mm -hmm. I'm trusting it, but that's definitely a goal. Okay. Okay, I'm just making sure because I know little man want to really that's see. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, I need yeah, the whole family yeah, exactly, out there. Exactly. Yeah, that's that's the goal, man. Okay, okay. Support Team USATF and shop all the latest offered Nike USATF running essentials today at usatf.org forward slash store or use the link in the description below, please. Okay. What you got, Wally? All right. Here you go, look. Yeah, let's see how you <laughs> like to get adjusted he in this chair. Yeah, 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 right. What you all got? Right, all right, I'm going to back off first. We're going to start regular. I'm going to back off first. All right. So we do a little section, a segment we call, like, get to know an athlete. So mm. we just ask you questions. Okay. And then you give a response, and then you can give, you know, a little description of why, maybe. All right. So I'm starting off with this right now. Uh, well, this is just this, – this, this is a preamble. It's jewelry. So, if we had to go with clothing or jewelry, what's your vice? Which one you like better? If you're going to spend some money, would you drop it on jewelry or clothing? I'm going to do jewelry just because I could just have on some sweatpants or something, but I got a jewelry on and it's a fit. I never thought about it like that, but you're right. I'm going to do jewelry. It can make, it can make everything a fit. So, you so right. right now I'm chilling, but... I got the jewelry on. So okay. Look like I got clothes on. All right, all right. So, <laughs> all right. If we want a vacation, would you go somewhere warm, somewhere cold? I'm going warm. Why is that? You already live somewhere hot. It's different though. Like, talk to me. It's just a different. I like the heat. It make you feel like you know just. Now I couldn't make you mad if it's too hot. <laughs> well, you on vacation, mad. yeah, but so you on vacation, <laughs> you go get in the water. I don't know how to swim though, but what? I can put my feet in the water. You're so the fastest person in the world, you can run on water. Yeah, I really cannot swim. Okay. We're going to work on that. This yeah. off season, I might come down to Louisiana. We're going to work on that one. No, I ain't going to lie. Fun fact, I almost drowned like two years ago. What? How? In Tulum on vacation. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> you know how they got the little cenotes, cenotes or whatever? Mm-hmm. I'll make it quick. You know, I look small, right? Okay. So the dude don't know he's thinking I weigh like 120. So he give my life vest. Life is small. I'm like, I don't know. Like, I don't think this will hold me. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm big. Like, I weigh like almost 150. Okay. No, 145. So I get the life vest. I go in the snow tea. I'm like, all right. So the water get deep. So I'm like, I think I'm going down. But, you know, I'm just like, no. I started going down. Mm, mm, Real mm. life, like, under the water, like. You were panicking? What? 
Boy, I've been boy. I ain't never cried so hard in my life. I ain't gonna lie. I was going down. They had to hurry to come get me. I'm under the water like <sighs> yeah, somebody. Yeah. And the water was done with for that day, wasn't it? What? Wasn't no getting back I in the water. I ain't doing nothing though. They want zip line. I ain't going zip line. I ain't doing nothing. Say, listen. But yeah. We need to partner with USA Swimming. We need some swim lessons. No, I ain't gonna lie. I do want to learn. We need some swim I'm lessons out here. We, we need some swim lessons. You might be able to get out there on the swim team. You get some real lessons out I here. Might. You don't I might. I need to. Y'all come help me out, please. All right. If it wasn't track and field, what sport would you do? Basketball. I played basketball all the way until I came to LSU. What position? Everything. Okay. So you got a shot? What? You got a you got I a flame got a throw on your shoulder. I got the bunnies. For real? Everything. You can touch the rim. Yeah, I definitely can. All right, now now look at here, uh, WNBA. Don't be trying to come poach hey, our look. athletes. <laughs> Don't be trying to come right. get our athletes. Next up, that's why I'm at. Let her get this medal first before y'all start doing some weird three on stuff. Three on three. Three on three. Hey. Get out there. Get out there. I would. I ain't playing a little minute though, but cars or trucks or SUVs. Cars. What kind of car? What's your favorite? Dream car. Dream car, a lamb. I got a Corvette right now, though. You got a vet? Yeah. The new, the new body one? You like it? Is it fast? I like fast cars. I don't drive fast. I was just about to ask, how many speeding tickets do you have? More than three? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I do got more than three. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I'd be like, it's not me, it's the car. They'd be like, this is a nice car. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> but I got to give you this ticket. I ain't going to lie, I went on the way to practice. Recently? Last year. And what happened? Did they know who you are when you, like? He let me go. I knew I'm it. like, I knew no, it. I, I ain't going to lie. It. I was on campus. I was like, I drove all the way to practice. I'm like, just keep on following me. I got the car. Like, look, they waiting on me. I'm at practice. He was like, all right, you could go. I said, Wow, LSU, man. I'm telling you. That's love. That's love. I'm over here recruiting for LSU on an accident. Yeah. Yeah, I'm and tripping. Nah, it sounds like you're doing it on purpose, brother. What you got going on? I man? got it. I like her. I got. I, I yeah, got. That's, that's my dog. I got to support my dog. That's fam right there. So, do you, Aaliyah, any other passions outside of running? And I, I know you're extremely passionate about children, but outside outside of running and being a mom, how do you spend your time? Just embracing your family. That's or, my time right there. Yeah, that's the time. <laughs> now I know. Now I'm I either know. running or I'm just with the with the family. With the like, family. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. it. That's your favorite pastime. Yeah. Definitely. Any yeah, other hobbies right outside of being fly, fast cars? And Can you cook? No. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a little lazy. I can't just stand up there and cook. It's just oh, too yeah, much. Doing it. It's too much. It's too, it's too hot right there. So you're not it's the one out there like man the grill or or. What's your favorite? Like, okay. Raisin canes, food, right? french fries, hold the slaw, two pieces of toast. You know, I, I have canes. I try to train my life around this shit, y'all. Hold on, you trying to, you trying to give up the canes? <laughs> oh. I ain't gonna I have canes in a minute. I didn't. You giving it up? Yeah. That's good. You can get on that podium. Get that canes. That's up. A, so once you get your medal, where are you going to eat? What's your, what, the, the, is that Ooh. canes or what? Where are you going? What's your victory meal? I'm going to give me a hot sausage sandwich. Oh, what is Hot this? Hot sausage sandwich. sandwich. Look, I'm from Arkansas. I don't even know what is oh. that. Oh, yeah. It's like, hot sausage it's sandwich. It's like a hamburger, but it's a hot sausage patty. I think I need to come visit LSU. I think I need to. <laughs> you ever been to New Orleans? <laughs> Only once. Oh, yeah. Bro. Only he once. Don't know. Yeah, he don't know. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I'm not going to sit here in front. I no all kind of stuff. I ain't even going to lie. Yeah. I'm going there well. You see food? Crawfish. What? Oh, y'all can see. I eat that now. You eat yeah. crawfish? Yeah. Man, they you probably, had crawfish she, before? They, I can't. probably eat crawfish. I can't. They probably eat crawfish I can't. At least, I can't. at least twice a month. I'm glad I had some probably like three days ago. I can't do it, man. Well, the you taste eat? or you just... I'm looking at it. It's looking back. I'm not doing it. Yeah, it do look a little funny. Huh? I'm not <laughs> doing it. <laughs> it do look a little funny. What does it taste like? Like spicy meat. Like Why well, don't take it out for like you? A, Can you do that? Get it out, all that other stuff. I'm not trying to break that. It's not fun. Like, the whole no. fun is you got to peel it. In. It's the experience. Yeah, like, we're going to get you some. I should have bought some, huh? No, but when the season's <laughs> over, I'm coming we're to find you. We're going to get you some. All right, pull I'm up. I'm coming to up. find you for sure, for sure. All right, how about <laughs> this one then? Did you watch all the conflict going back and forth with the Drake and Kendrick and all that other? Or you on your own? I didn't. I ain't going to lie. Too. I was seeing it, but I was too far behind. I didn't feel like going to catch up. Mm. So, you, are you deep? So I didn't. Right. I'm not a big fan. Of I mean, both of them great. I listen to them, but I'm not like they not on my top five. Favorite artist? Then let me get top three <laughs> artists. Real fam, young savage. You top catch three? me, man. This dude. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> he's showing personality today. I like it. Let me see. Young boy. I ain't glad. I listen to young boy. 
No cap. Mm, we're going to throw in. Damn, we're in the rotation. I know them two for sure. So that's, that's what you listening to when you warming up? Oh, she definitely oh, yeah. listening to Young Boy for sure. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes I listen to bounce music too. For real? I, I, I ain't gonna lie. So <laughs> I'm like, I rock with it too. I it doesn't get to you too hyped up. Sometime. It doesn't get you too hyped up for a race? It does? That's the goal. Okay then. Talk to him. All right, yeah, so. Trying to get right. No limit, cash, money, or trip fan. Cash money. Cash money, easily, huh? Uh, dang, who? No, nah, you didn't say cash money. You answered everything now. Yeah, that, I that one say, right yeah. there. I told you everything. Yeah, that's it right there. That's it. Cash money for sure. That's it, man. Well, yeah, you're going to have to host this out. We're going to have to come out to the NO, get some crawfish a little bit. He don't know. know. He. Uh, yeah, I can like I get you. Right. I'm, at least, at least I'm telling the truth. I, I'm admitting I don't you know. Never, you didn't go <laughs> to Mardi Gras. About something, to change your life. I never been to Mardi Gras. What? I live a, a sheltered life, man. Man, you gotta get outside. Man, Mardi Gras day, we always have practice. I go to practice as early as I could. <laughs> yeah, I, and I'm, I'm on the road. <laughs> I'm on the road right now. Wait, Coach Shavers ain't giving y'all no speeches. He ain't giving no speech. He already know what time it is. Mardi Gras. Oh, he, 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 yeah, he, he gave us a speech. Little speech. Yeah. yeah, I know you probably don't want us to go out there to be yeah. honest, but he knows y'all going out there. Yeah. yeah. He don't want you to go because he look because he wants to go himself. Probably so. What would you do if you actually went out there and saw <laughs> Coach Shaver? <out? laughs> <laughs> I'm about to go that way because I'd be lit. <laughs> I'll probably look at you, look that way. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, man. I'm gonna turn that way. What would it take? What would it take? For Coach Shaver to actually just relax and just like man, party with you, how fast would you have to run for him to just celebrate with you? What do you think? What? You win the Olympic gold medal and run ten two. Is he turning up with you? I think so. All right, then. I, I think so. If that would be it. Yeah, then? we could make him dance a little bit too. He'll cut up. He'll definitely. The Silver Fox come out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, he gonna, he'll cut up for sure. Right. But Benny keeps him humble too, though. He keeps him. Oh humble. yeah, you, you know Coach Benny. <laughs> you know him. Yeah, he definitely keep him, keep him grounded. But it's all love, though. Yeah, that's what's up. It's, uh, it's love. Well, we definitely love the culture in uh, New Orleans, and we love the culture of track and field at LSU for sure. Mm -hmm. And we definitely appreciate your consistency and dedication to the sport. You are definitely a warrior out there, you know. And uh, we look forward to you getting on this team getting on this podium and just having a full, you know, having a full circuit career, you know what I mean? Right. Not, a lot of folks give up after one knee surgery and you done came back after two, mm -hmm. you know, and that's big time amongst other injuries and little things. And we're just looking forward to having a healthy Aaliyah out there, Thank both you. mentally and physically. So, right, me too. Thank you. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt. Good luck out there this season, rest of the season. We appreciate you for joining us for another episode, not blinding us too much, you know what I'm saying? And, the you know, <laughs> you know, so thank you for joining us, Leah, for sure. No problem. Thank you. Thanks.